Alright guys, I have three problems up here if you've seen my inequalities and multi-step equations video. Then this should be easy. If you want, you can go study back to that or have both of them playing or something. I don't know. Whatever you guys want. But this is my building the twins. So, anyway. So, I'm gonna just let you pause the video. Look at these equations. Solve them. I'll give you the answers, and if you got any of these wrong, my next video, that way I make it a full lesson, four videos, my next video will explain each one of them. So, good luck, and you may pause the video now. Alright, Stacey, can you get me those markers, please? I'm just not an Oreo, people. Oreos are good. Especially with milk. Yeah, it is. All right. The correct answers for these, for these, <laughs> this one was x equals one. There you go. There's number one. X All right. Equals one. I have no idea. This what one about, so. is x equals. Oh, I'm going to switch it up. You mind if I write underneath? What's that? You guys don't mind. Sorry, I'll just write it underneath. Okay, so this one basically x equals Uno. Okay. Got it. Good. Thanks, Ralph. Good, got it, got it. This one is I just got this question. Negative point five. Got it? Negative point five. Good. Yeah. Alright, this one was as you can see, an inequality. So I hope you guys got that one okay. And that one was x. X. Um, one second. Just hold on. Okay. I'm just trying to see what I did here. Alright, yeah, so that's right. Excuse me. Is greater than 26. X is greater than 26. You got that good. Oh, yeah. Alright, so x equals 1 x equals negative 0.5 and x is greater than 26. Oh yeah. You yeah, okay. yeah. So, if you got all of them right, congratulations. If you got one or two or all of them wrong, that's okay because we're going to go over them. And I have time, so I'll just do that now actually. Casey, <laughs> please stop. Yeah, Oreos with milk. Oreos with milk, get it. Casey, please, I'm serious. Stop. Probably none of you get it. That's All right. Not. I'm just away. Alright, so the first problem was 3 minus 4x. I don't remember if that was the first problem. I don't think it was. No, sorry, that wasn't the first problem. It was negative 6x plus... Stacey, stop it. Seriously. Stacey, stop it. Stacey. <laughs> please stop. Alright. That was the first problem. <coughs> Do you have any idea how to do this? No. Okay. I'm not watching. I'm not interested. Alright then. First I'm thing you would do. play on top of Smoky Mountain. Okay. First thing you would do is add 6x. Can you guys see that? I'm sorry. Look that darker. But that is the first thing you would do. So I have the paper that you did the questions on. I have that in front of you. All right, so you are gonna add six x to the same term. And you get 13 equals 13 x. And then all you have to do is five by 13. You get one equals x or x equals one. What's something popped up on my screen? One second. Alright. So that's the first problem. That's the board. The next problem was the one that I started writing earlier. Three minus four x equals 10 x plus 10. Sorry, I said 
squeeze that in. All right. The first thing that we will do is so they're the same, right? So because this is a negative 4x, we're going to add 4x to both equal terms. All right. So you have 3 equals 14x plus 10. We subtract 10 from both sides. We get negative 3. So negative 7, I'm sorry. Negative 7 equals 14x divided by 14. And then, that's where you get your final answer. Somehow. Why is it negative? I'm sorry. I was wrong. It's not supposed to be negative. This it is. Okay. So it'll be negative point five. Yes, that is my five, and I'm sorry. Equals x. And the last problem, which was an inequality. was yes, 4 x minus 9 and add right we are right now minus 3 x is greater than 17 now the simplest thing because the 3 x is on this side and on this side I just have to do it to this side I'll just add 3 x the same term. That doesn't sound right. Huh, that's wrong. Alright, so I'm going yes, the other one. I just realized that I did it incorrectly. Stuff happens. Alright, so we're going to add 3x. And I apologize a lot for that. I was wrong. 7x minus 9 17 Add 9. Oh, great. 17. 7x is. That's what I got. And then, for some reason, I forgot 7. And then all I have to do is just divide by 7. Alright. And you would get x equals 3. Uh, so that is actually the correct answer. And I uh, I apologize. I for doing mean it. something yeah. 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 I'm sorry, I'm yeah. Alright. Uh, so good job. I'm so sorry that I said that X equaled or X was greater than twenty six. I feel so embarrassed, but thanks for watching and I hope you did well. And yeah. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.